On 22nd August 2017, Romeo came to our life as a surprise gift from heaven. We got him from a local shopping centre. He was so tiny and cute. We brought him to our house. That was a pleasant surprise for everyone at home. Rocky, our dog, was pretty excited, but also a tiny bit confused. He kept barking at Romeo because he didn't know what to do. It was the first time that he seen a cat up close. As we didn't have any cat food, his diet contained of mainly water and milk for one or two days. He didn't like to travel in cars. Whenever we bring him in our car, he would meow so much that it sounded like an actual human talking. Every single time he was in the car, he would always meow like that, then wait for someone's response, then meow again. It was exactly like he was talking to us. Romeo and Rocky took a few months to get used to each other. Rocky was a puppy himself and thought that Romeo was a toy. Soon enough, they formed an unbreakable bond and started helping each other get the things they wanted, like partners in crime. Their fights were playful and harmless, but we would always be scared of Romeo scraping Rocky a little too hard or Rocky accidentally biting him. They both had spent lots of time playing together in our back garden. A few months passed by and it was time for both of them to get neutered. Romeo handled it better than Rocky, in my opinion, and walked it off like a king. Rocky was a bit of a drama queen, but we didn't blame him. He spent a lot of time outdoors meeting other cats, roaming around for no apparent reason, making friends with the little kids on our road, and catching poor birds, rats and mice. Losing his collar was another great hobby of his. The ginger cat was his best friend and his mentor. He started using up all his energy outside and became less crazy inside the house as he grew older. Him and Rocky would chill together more often than they would fight. Eating ham was their favorite hobby together. Every time Romeo would come home after his walks, he would always be sure to give Rocky one small kiss or lick. We bought Romeo a tower in the conservatory, and that was where he slept. He liked his tower a lot. In the summer, he would sleep at the very top, and in the winter, he would sleep in the little cave-type box to keep himself warm. But one day, Rocky destroyed it by ripping it into shreds. So Romeo would just sleep on Rocky's bed, on one of the dining chairs in the kitchen, on the computer chair, or anywhere comfortable that he could find peace and quiet in the house. We had loads of dogs that we dog sitted in the summer as well. He was scared of the first few dogs, but then he got used to them. It was so amazing how quickly he would adapt to them, and he wouldn't even be scared if the big dogs would come near him or try to play with him. He was such a brave cat. The last memory we have of him is when we were planting a golden rain tree in our garden on Friday 29th of May 2020. It was a really sunny day and as he was walking through the sunlight, he really glistened and I remember thinking at that moment how pure and precious he looked. He was shining like an angel and made us feel so blessed. No one can stop the fate. It had to happen. On the same day, around 9.45pm, during his usual walk, he was hit by a car. Everything happened in fractions of a second. The impact of the accident was enough to take our little Romeo. He passed away to heaven. We were all so shocked. We didn't realize that he could leave us like that. At any moment, at any given time, 
We tried all we could to bring him back. But deep down, we feel like we knew that he was gone. The whole night, we spent by his side grieving. It was so painful to try and think of him being gone. The next morning, we brought Romeo to the crematorium. It was really heartbreaking. No one could still believe it. It was so sudden. We got his ashes, and that's when we forced to realize that he can't come back. He can only live in our hearts and in our memories. We will always love you, Romeo. Whenever we look at your portrait, we can hear from your cute face that you're meowing. When tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right here inside your heart. <laughs>